Hello everyone and welcome to fingerprint patterns and how to identify them. We're going to start off with our three main patterns. We have arch, loop, and whorl. Some telltale factors for each of these is the arch. It's kind of like a rainbow. It comes up, comes back down in the middle of the finger. Then we've got the loop where it comes in from one side and exits from the same side. This can go either direction. We've got radial loops, and we have ulnar loops, and that depends on what direction it's pointing on your hand. And then we have whorls, which look like a swirl. That's how I remember it. So they just loop around, kind of like a bullseye. I have this hand that a student outlined for me, and I drew in some very elementary looking patterns. So keeping in mind what we just learned, can you identify these four? This one would be a whirl, yes. These two would be a loop. And then we have our arch. Notice that these two loops are pointing in different directions. This one is pointing more towards the pinky side of the hand, and this one is pointing more towards the thumb side of the hand. If the loop is pointing towards the thumb, this is a radial loop. If it's pointing towards the pinky or little finger, This is an ulnar loop. And it all goes back to what bones are on those sides of the hand. So if we were to take a look at our own arm right now, and we held our arm right at the elbow, and we were just to rotate our wrist, only one of our bones would be moving. We've got two main bones in our arm. We've got this one and this one. The one that rotates this one, which is moving with my thumb, is your radial bone. And then our ulnar bone is the one that stays put. That's on our pinky side. So thumb, radial, pinky, ulnar. So bringing it back to our more simple drawings, this one is pointing towards the thumb. So that would be the radial. And this one's pointing towards the pinky. So this would be the owner. Here are some of my own fingerprints on a 10 card I just made for another video. And let's zoom in nice and close. This is my right middle. Notice that it's coming in from one side and returning back to the same side. So that would be a loop. And if that's my right middle finger, would it be a radial or an ulnar? Take a look at your own hand. If it's my right middle finger and I'm looking at my palm and it's facing this way, it would be towards my pinky. So that is an ulnar loop. Looking at my right forefinger, I already see a nice bullseye looking pattern. So that is a whorl. If we were to look at my right hand as a whole, notice I have quite a few whorls. This one's kind of hard to see, but there's that loop. And then if I could zoom in just a little bit more, you might be able to see. These are kind of hard to see, just because I didn't have enough ink for that one. So that's why it's really important that you have enough ink when making a 10 card. But now you have some practice identifying different types. Notice I did not have any arches, and that is totally normal. Everyone has a different set of fingerprints, and uh, they may have all of the same. They may have all three. They may have a mix of some, which we call composites. So. Everyone's fingerprints are unique, thus they are individual evidence. 
I hope this helps you identify them and feel free to watch this video again. Thank you.